Today, I'm bringing you along for a science lesson. Currently, my fourth grader, second grader, and I are doing an astronomy unit. First, I take out the wood painting boards, which we use regularly for drawing Plato and such, as well as for painting. I also set out the children's unit books and the books for our lesson today. I will be doing a video on all the resources for this unit, but the ones I show here will also be linked in the description box below. We decide to take out Play-Doh for all the kids to play with as we start. This helps occupy the one and three year olds, as well as gives the older two something to do with their hands while they listen. I like to start with a fun, preferably storybook, related to our topic, although we don't always have one. Today, we are starting with The Magic School Bus Sees Stars. Next, we move on to The Stars by H.A. Ray, which is an older book, but it does a great job explaining why the stars appear and move through the sky as they do, and how to identify them. We are moving through it slowly, as I only read a few pages each lesson. It also has great charts and pictures of constellations, which actually take up a good portion of the book. Then it is time to use our resource books. I choose one or two topics to learn about from our research books in each lesson. So when we were doing the solar system, we would do one or two planets a day. Last lesson, we learned about the life cycle of stars, and today we are learning about galaxies. I find the relevant pages in the DK The Mysteries of the Universe book and the Usborne book of Astronomy and Space. They draw and label what we've learned in their unit books. I help my second grader spell and do some of the writing for him. By now, the one and three year olds have left the table and are playing nearby and are also causing some chaos. There are a lot more noises and interruptions than I'm showing here. This is usually where we end a lesson, but some days we do something extra. I had planned on painting, but I didn't want to rush since we had piano lessons this afternoon. So we are moving forward in time to the next day when we set up for painting. The older children are following a galaxy painting tutorial by Steph Hathaway. The link to the video was part of a space unit bundle I purchased from her. The three-year-old is using her own set of watercolors, and I give the one-year-old a piece of construction paper to paint with water. He was delighted and did not try to stick it in his mouth, so he may be ready for his own watercolors soon.
The younger children were done before the older two, so I helped them build a train track in the living room and checked on the painters every so often. I love their finished work. Thank you for joining our astronomy lesson over these two days. I hope you are all well. Bye, friends.